And if I take EF, E happens to be 1, 3, 2. So this is 3 by 1. And F, F is 2, 4, 1. F is 2, 4, 1. This is 1 by 3. So the inners match. And the outcome is a 3 by 3. Look at that. That small nice thing is going to give this big thing. Oh, that happens. And how does it work? Now, remember how this works. To generate the first row, I use the first row. The first row is only a single entry. For the first, multiply by the first. 1 times 2 is 2. Done. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. There it is. To generate the second row, I use the second row. The second row is also an entry. One entry. That's okay. To get the first, I multiply it by the first. That's a 6. That's a 12. And that's a 3. And to generate the last row, I use the last row, which is a single entry. 2 times 2 is a 4. 2 times 4, that's a 8. And that's a 3. And there it is. Fairly simple. Just takes a bit of practice. And what if I do EF? Well, it's right there. E is 2 4, 1, and F is 1, 3, 2. So this is a 1 by 3. This is a 3 by 1. The inners match. And the outcome is a 1 by 1. The outcome is just a single entry. And how is that? Well, hey, to get that first row I use, there's only one row. 2 times 4 is 2, plus 4 times 3 is a 12, and 1 times 2 is a 2. And that would be simply 14, 16. So once you get the hang of this multiplying, it's not that bad. It's kind of repeated. And if I look at J, J, we want to find DH. What's D? D is, there it is. Oh boy, okay, it's very hard to copy. No, it's not. Okay, there is D. And H, what's H? Where's it? Oh, there's H. There. Well, can that be done? This is 2 by 3. And this is 3 by 3. But those inners match. Yep, that could be done. And what would that be? That would be a 2 by 3. That would be a 2 by 3. To generate the first row, I use the first row. First with the first. That is, again, negative 1 times 2 and negative 2. 1 times 5 is a 10. And 3 times... Oh, I messed up, didn't I? I'm getting carried away here. Forgive me. Negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2. 1 times 0 is 0. Just seeing if you're paying attention. And a 3 times negative 1 is a negative. For the second entry is the second row, negative 5, 1 times 3 is a negative 3, and 3 times 2 is a 6. And for the third entry, I would use negative 1 times 1, that's a negative 1 plus 6 plus 3. So the first row turns out to be a negative 5, a negative 8 plus negative 2, and a 9 minus 1 is an 8. And to generate the second row, I'm going to really use the second row. To generate the second row, I'm going to use the second row. And that would be what? For the first, 4 times 2 is an 8. 3 times 0 is a 0, and 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1. For the second, that's 
20 minus 9 plus 2. And for the last, that is 4 plus 18 plus 1. That turns out to be a 7. 22 minus 9. What's 22 minus 9? 13, is that right? Uh, 22 minus, no. Yeah, 13. And 18, 19, 23. And if they say find a square, it is simple, but not as simple as you think. That doesn't mean you square anything. If they say find a squared, that means you take a and you multiply it by itself. a is 1, 2, 3, 4. So a squared is really 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's a 2 by 2. To generate the first, use the first, so the first is the first, 1 times 1, that's a 1, and 2 times 3 is a 6, 1 times 2 is a 2, plus 2 times 4 is an 8, then with the first row for the second, take 3 times 1, plus 4 times 3, and for the second, use the second, 3 times 2, plus 4 times 4. So you'll notice this is not squaring each entry. That's a 7, 10, 15, and 22. And the last aspect of this section is very important for our next section. So I need to make sure you understand this. If you have a system of equations, you could write the system of equations as, so you copy the coefficients multiplied by the variables provided they match and the constants will be what's on the right hand side and that's really what we did on the right hand side now let me elaborate really quick and let's make sure we get this and we understand it because again you're gonna have to do that in the next section if i look at this isn't this a two by two uh let me leave some space so we can prove this. And isn't this a 2 by 1? The inners match. And the outcome is a 2 by 1. To generate the first, I'm going to use the first. And isn't that a times x plus b times y? That's done. To generate the second in 3, I use the second row d times x plus e times y. And that equals cf. And didn't we agree that two matrices are equal? Remember, this is one by two by one. And this is 2 by 1. Aren't those equal if and only if this entry equal that? And this entry equal that? And as you see, this is the system that we started with. So this idea is a must. You really need to get this out of the way. And how do I write this as a matrix equation? Well, the coefficient matrix, kind of like augmented, kind of, you multiply that by x, y, whatever those variables are, and you get the constants. You could multiply this for practice if you wish to see how that works. And if you look at b, the same deal, you would say, well, all right, if I want to do that one, have space, I would say, let me get the coefficient matrix, that is the 1, negative 3, 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 4, and if I multiply that by, in this case, what are the variables, x, y, z, and that would equal the constants, which is 3, 5, and a this means I'm going to take matrix A, 
multiply it by vector x and get the constant b. No need to worry much about that, but that's coming up in the next section. <coughs> and that would be it for this section.